Hey guys, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. What's happening? Uh, it's been a couple of days that I've been missing. Uh, I usually am known for uh, daily reviews. I started that trend uh, back in like 2016. I did every single day try to do one video or more than one video. That's why you see me ending up with 900 something videos in two years. So today um, I feel a little bit better. I've been busy. I've been restless a little bit and uh, I didn't get the time or motivation that I needed. So I thought just take a couple of days break and then come back and I feel fragrances to go to review and have few more coming in new ones so i'll be reviewing them in time so today's house is rasasi one of my favorite houses you guys know uh, i think per perhaps i have done the most number of rasasi fragrances on youtube if you just go rasasi and space joy i mean you can see all the rasasi fragrance that i have reviewed so i think in upcoming days i think i'll be reviewing i think uh, on the way there is ambergris showers from la yukuam line and there's also a uh, must collection i'll get something from them junun collection part of the leather and then uh, perhaps on the borouge line i'll get something let's just keep it like a suspense right so today i'll be looking at a uh, fragrance it has some reviews i'll talk about those and the fragrance actually is called afshan okay i think that's how you say it uh, it's edp concentration it's a unisex perfume and it's not a new release it has some age right now and it's made in uae <clears throat> all the information at the back so front you get do not find a name i think it's all written in arabic so i'll show you the presentation who is it for uh, what it smells like and uh, longevity and occasion weather stuff like that so first of all the box it's uh, again once again it's like this uh, sorry 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 i just woke up a while ago so i'm a little bit not uh, fully here my scent of the late night is uh, theramuc angel i finally got that yesterday i love this perfume one of the most iconic perfumes of all time and i also recently got uh, angel muse this one as well so i'll be reviewing them once again i'll re-review this and i'll review this in upcoming days so this is my scent of the night oh man just this is just something else right okay so uh we will be testing this on the paper the option one so here is the sorry back in the review uh, it doesn't have so much i don't know what this is supposed to represent it looks like a gold rush and going towards two different direction and it has purple color just like rasas is darish they like this color of purple i guess it's uh, pretty it means like it's bold and dark right that's how these perfumes are so rasas usually are very very long lasting perfume okay all of them because they're middle eastern perfumery and uh, they put a lot of fragrance oil in their every single fragrance so you find like information here made in dubai stuff like that here is a little bit more information up there nothing much it's a tall bottle box the bottle here however uh, i think i have uh, i'm not very <laughs> fond of the bottle it's it's okay it looks nice but it, it does look as a little bit of arabian kind of a uh, uh, bottle arabian style bottles you'll see a lot of uh, middle eastern bottles that looks like this yellow kind of greenish juice almost like vetiver based kind of fragrances if you know uh david beckham instinct for him it juice uh, juice color is like that the cap is here it looks like a kind of like a queen i think it looks a lot like uh armani c that kind of cap i'm not sure but someone said it all looks like georgiov caps so I, i'm not sure it just looks like something else looks like a berry basically you know blueberry blackberry and the bottle design is okay you know it looks a little bit feminine i would say simplistic tall side is like this side profile is like that it's uh it says edp okay and i don't think this is their very expensive line this is more of their affordable line but it's somewhere between the cheapy and the more expensive somewhere in the mid-range kind of perfume so sticker is here and the cap actually when you take it off i think it's kind of very light kind of cap it looks like a bulb now christmas bulb <laughs> light and the sprayer is here old school classic sprayer and we'll spray this i'll talk about it okay. here you go spray is very good on this and i'll tell you one thing do not go trigger happy with this perfume this is one potent juice okay let's just go two i just said do not go two and um, don't, don't go crazy i just did two that's a big mistake so this perfume okay first of all the big elephant in the room yes if you go to fragrantica this is actually uh, supposedly a clone of chanel number no. five or rather interpretation of rasasi of Chanel number no. five so Rasas usually every single fragrance they have most of them 85% 90% is inspired by some other fragrance okay and they have a lot of fragrance that smell like each other and they also have male and female they come in a couple like Hawass if you see uh, Shura okay all these perfumes they come in male and female this one right here is unisex it's two in one it's for men and women so the thing is Chanel number no. five is a very challenging fragrance from Chanel it's a masterpiece people love it uh, i do not like it i cannot use it it's chanel number no. five i would say coco mademoiselle most of the chanels and then also fragrances like i would say 
don't put tobacco any overpowering for me i cannot i feel sick <laughs> so this fragrance right here what what is it like is it like chanel number no. five is it a knockoff or is it just exact clone uh, no uh, if you see i think there are a few reviews of this fragrance on youtube but i would mention if he shares if you see his channel he reviewed this and i picked up some information that is very interesting and <laughs> i will share that as well thanks if brother for sh reviewing this it's he said uh, in his review it smells like nivea cream <laughs> nivea cream is something like those uh, blue containers that nivea 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 it's a very old uh like a cream that you use you know to keep moist and stuff ladies use it babies use it sometimes men use it so nivea products are very clean musky fresh and just like it smells when you smell it yes you, you kind of get that but in the opening when you sniff it you get a little bit of peppery kick it has some uh, i think saffron and some pink pepper i didn't look at the notes breakdown but i think it has definite spices and it has the opening uh, bright sort of ylang ylang sort of floral it will come up much much later it will have some musk it will have some i think a uh, rose some florals and it's pretty pretty much basically a little bit of everything but it's not very complex perfume it's very simplistic sort of perfume opens up sort of like a spicy and there's no citrus in this so do not expect citrus i don't get any citrus from it and it's not dominant by that many notes but what i really get it, it all the notes just attributes to what if he says uh, like that nivea cream sort of body so it's like a good thing for some people's bad thing for some because nivea cream will give you the feel of like you know it's just fresh when you apply it on your hand and you sniff your arm like you know hand it smells fresh you know so some people like that some people don't so i think it will be excellent fragrance for both men and women first of all and it's a good winter fragrance do not use this in summer this fragrance has extreme potency uh if you go fragrant because some people's one guy said i read he said i bought it and it's like extreme weak it doesn't last that long two three hours is gone then he's like edit under the comment he's like uh, this fragrance oh i was wrong this is beast mode and then i was laughing my brains out you know brains out okay the brains are coming out really really bad i told blow your brain burn your whatever <laughs> sorry so this fragrance i think yes as i was saying continuing both men and women can use this if you do like channel number five it has vibes of it i'm not gonna call it exact channel number five because channel number five even though i do not like it that much it is much more better built and complex perfume compared to this but you get sort of like 65 percent similarity from this around 70 percent i would say and you get very good performance but doesn't choke you like chanel number no. five that is so much more uh, daring perfume this one is much more on the casual side you can use it every day just go one spray on your chest that would be good you can go maybe one on your back of your neck that way you cannot if you put it here here you will be directly like if it's here imagine it will just hit your nose every single second you don't want that put it at the back it will project nicely leave a nice central everybody even if you leave the place where you were the cr should be there right so this fragrance has very good longevity that's the best part of it i don't think it comes in any other bottle sizes i think i would use this at evening night time uh, it's beautiful perfume it's very classy but the nivea thing if you think about it it's there if you do not think about it you get the chanel number no. five sort of vibes musk vanilla kind of like a smell and it does have now i'm getting a little bit citrus i don't know where it's coming from uh, just a tad bit of citrus so yes kind of spicy kind of like floral ylang ylang rose combo and then followed by vanilla and musk and maybe perhaps there's some vetiver or patchouli something a little bit darker so it's that kind of perfume it's thick perfume if you know arm of craze if you like that perfume you can definitely try it it's, it's in a similar vein right so definitely try out rasa says afshan i mean i'm not the biggest fan of it i'm not crazy about it i'm not gonna say i like it as much as i like many other resources but this is a good perfume for the price if you like channel number five you can definitely give it a try and shout out to brother ify uh, for reviewing this i really love your review i'll leave his link below you can check it out as well okay rasas option unisex perfume overall this fragrance gonna get from me 7.5 out of 10 just for sheer quality and the longevity factor amazing value for money perfume right so that's all i have for you today i'll review a few fragrances in upcoming days so until then i'll uh, take care and take care of yourself in the winter do not get sick i'll see you soon bye, -bye.